as fast as I can, but my mind is free to sail across terabytes of reality. Hey guys, it's been a while. I'm um, just kind of doing a kind of a rant kind of thing today or this time around. Um, where to start this? I was going to do originally do this post on Facebook, my personal Facebook, but I decided to on to share it with everyone kind of thing on my YouTube. So Sam is kind of my my financial assistant, whatever you want to call it. Uh, Bleachman991, as you guys you guys know him as many things at this point. Um, anyways, um, Sam stopped by Best Buy and he was like, you know, he was talking to me like he felt guilty, well, yeah, he felt guilty that, you know, he wanted to record all these games with me and it's taking a lot of space. It's, I ha he bought me a one, two terabyte hard drive, I think a month ago, and we've already filled that thing up to maximum capacity. It's, it was very, I had to find ways to, to leak or like make it so there wasn't as much files or recordings on the on the on that hard drive and I had to split it up elsewhere kind of thing. Which kinda of stresses the whole system or stresses the whole hard drives. Like I got seven hard drives in my current computer because I need the space. I have two SSDs and I got four standard hard drives. I think that's seven. That's six. Whatever. Anyways Ridiculous amount of hard drives. Not a normal amount of hard drives should be in a computer. And they all span from I have half a terabyte, I have a terabyte, I have an external terabyte. Actually, that's, that'd be myself, my external hard drive. And then I got a 250 SSD that, that Sam also bought me for cheap price. And then Sam was going to buy me another two terabyte external one, and it's like my library ones, those big black ones that you know have to have an external power source and all that shenanigans. So he's he's running around Best Buy that time around, and he tried to contact me. He couldn't, which was very shame, uh, shameful on my part. But I was dealing with my with uh, Daggeron, who was freaking out because of shenanigans. Anyways. So, Sam goes talk to customer service, because, you know, he couldn't talk to me, so he has to go talk to somebody else who, quote-unquote, knows who, what they're saying kind of thing. So, Sam went up to customer service, he was giving, you know, like, hey, my friend does YouTube, he needed space, he needs space for a hard drive, and, you know, he has, a, he has a small dog, and, you know, he doesn't have a lot of space in his room, you know, what do you recommend? And the guy's like, well... Instead of spending so much money on externals, why don't you just uh, buy this? And it's a little card, and it's actually this card. I folded it up the one I was tearing it up. It's it's Pogo Cloud. Pogo Cloud. It's it's cloud storage. It's just what it is. And what their thing is for twenty four months for two years, you get unlimited storage. And you know what, Sam was like, that's fantastic, you know, it was like, the guy was like, their customer support, there isn't customer support, but I'll get into that later, um, you know, fantastic, I don't know, like, he even said, he just said customer support, he said customer support, and it was cloud storage, it was unlimited, and Sam, good guy that he is, and he was like, unlimited storage, customer support, you know, this is fantastic, this is, you know, it's across the board good, there's like, you can't see a bad side on this kind of thing. And so, Sam bought it. It was 50 bucks, 49 dollars with no ta uh, sales tax because it's an online thing. So it's, I don't know why. Um, so, he comes over to the house, we start playing games, you know, I was like, in my hard drives, like, I deleted a series that, you know, it's coming up uh, for you guys, or it's, it's coming out for you guys uh, during the week, and... He was like, here you go. He throws the pa package at me, and, you know, I open it up, and it's, it's really cool. It's 24 months. Um, so, after we record half a, you know, for a couple hours, for a couple hours of the day, we re relocate up, up here in this room, and you know what? I was just like, you know, I'm going to do it. I'm going to start it up and see how this thing goes. You know, it's not a big deal. So, 
I go on the website, I put in the activation code. Activation code doesn't accept it three times. On the fourth time, it's like, oh, oh this is ours. It's okay. It's no big deal kind of thing. So it gives me gives me the 24 months, and a new page pops up. And it's it's not like, oh, skip this to go on a thing. It's just downloads kind of thing. No, 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 no. It's another pay screen. And it's like, you can get family sharing. And there's like, there's continue, and then there's skip to storage. And I was, and I was like... I don't care about this. Skip the storage. Brings up a little pay PayPal wall. PayPal's like, okay, you bought it. Cool. And, and you know, instantly transfer because I'm using Google Chrome, so all the password and stuff is instantly in. So it instantly sex, uh, accepts the PayPal. And I'm like, whoa, whoa, what did I just pay for? So I got on my PayPal. It's another reoccurring. It's it's just another subscription base. It's a year subscription for family sharing. Mm, didn't want family sharing. I'm, I press skip to heart, you know, skip to cloud storage. So that's another twenty five bucks. That's a tw it's a twenty four ninety nine, and for the, it's for the initial pay, and then it's twelve ninety nine for the subsequent payments of the product. And I was like, Are you kidding me? I'm paying twenty four twenty four now, and then twelve bucks another thing for nothing I need. It was for an additional person to look at the information that I'm storing. Me alone. No one else is looking at it. It's no one else's storage. Just mine. And so I clicked, you know, cancel PayPal. I cancel the transaction, or try to at least. And so I was like, alright, cool. I'm not going to pay for that. And I went to their website, and it's like they have a little cancel button as well. Their cancel button doesn't really work. It goes, hey, you're trying to cancel this. Go to PayPal and cancel it. I did that. Didn't, you know, it still showing the transaction happened. So I was like, that's a little weird. I want to wait, wait a day on that. So I waited a day. Find out that it still took my money. Still took the whole 24 to 24 blah, blah, blah stuff. And I was like, that ain't right. I didn't, I didn't want to purchase that. You know, they're transaction error blah 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 so I wrote a ticket out to PayPal and I was like you know I'm gonna call support customer support because it has for PayPal it has their communication line their their phone number call our phone number and they're like welcome to cloud storage dot com or blah 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 and I was like that's weird so they're owned by a different company and it doesn't even say which you know it's it's not even like oh we're well, you know the the website says oh we're owned by this company no, no nothing like that <sighs> so I'm on the phone with them I turn a speaker because it's I realize it's it's just looping it's you know press this button to get customer service press this button for sales plus play the uh, you know to play back this message press this button if you'd like to uh, you know anything else pre uh, if you know the direct line of the number you'd like to uh, you're seeking whatever press star and the number and I was like okay I want customer support press two it repeats the same thing over again I was like that's weird all right let's go, let's go to sales because there must be someone more, you know there to buy an item kind of thing or buy buy something so I press three loop the same thing I was like all right, so I so I went through the process of pressing all the buttons. It all loops back to the main message and doesn't go anywhere. So I'm kind of upset. Now I'm currently I'm still going to I'm still going to use their unlimited storage. I'm just trying it out. It's it's a uh, I I downloaded the program and they have three different programs. There is the remote viewer, which for God's sakes, I don't know why they have it. They have a media, like smartphones, iPads, and whatnot version of remote view, which is quote-unquote free. The remote view on computers is another 14 bucks, and it's monthly. So they're just trying to get as much money as possible anywhere. And, and and then there's the, 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 the Pogo plug backup, which is I'm currently using to back up my the, the recording, you know, two terabyte hard drive. And it is slow. I'm on day three of backing up a 1.2 terabyte folder. And it's not even 50%. 
I swear to God, it's downloading at 10 kilobytes per second. How the fuck would you call this unlimited storage? Or do I have to pay for faster speeds as I was going on? And they're like, well, you're at a paywall for speeds. I don't know. Nothing has to come up. They've yet to answer any of my customer service for the past three days. And I'm just speechless. How the hell can you be selling a product when your phones don't work and your customer service... Oh, don't get me wrong. There is, for the customer service emails, there is an instance for response but besides that and I just realized my camera went out so that's good so besides that there is no customer support the automatic response on their phone and on their email nothing why the hell is this at a major store product like why is this a product at a major appliance this is like scammy beyond all hell and then you got like people at best buy you know fucking endorsing it to get that payment to get to to get that sale they are willing to sell you anything and that's wrong at least fucking check on the product and the guy even said to my friend oh i use this all the time and i gotta say this is bullshit. I would not fucking endorse this product. I would... Pogo... Po, uh, Pogo Plug is one of the worst clouding services I have ever fucking seen. And I have seen several different clouding services. I have bought... I, I own a Microsoft account cloud service which is fantastic it's it's not as big it's 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 limited to one terabyte and i don't mind i don't it's a one terabyte fucking cloud storage i use that for my fucking thumbnails and little projects i have going on nothing serious and then i bought a oh god what was the other one it wasn't team viewer but it was one of those side brands microsoft later bought kind of thing and it was it was good it's it wasn't a terabyte but it was like 500 gigabytes and that was free, and it was quick. It was it was really quick. It did all the stuff I needed to do for for cloud storage, and that was awesome. This, I would I would seriously, guys, if you're looking for cloud storage, go to fucking Microsoft. It's at least in t automatically installed on your on your computer. It's automatically there. No big issue. Just buy an extra terabyte or contact a Microsoft support. Be like, how can I? get more storage that's if you're looking for cloud storage I you know I don't really think cloud storage would be a great thing I don't know maybe a terabyte is quote unquote too big for cloud storage I don't know I need an alternative source to hold this much data and I was looking at NASA's a uh, home server kind of thing for storage I was looking at getting a second computer, just hold it with storage, you know, just basic opera operating system or Windows Server kind of thing, and putting massive amount of storage on there. I don't know. But I would seriously say never, ever buy Pogo Plug. And you, you know, they might come at me with slander or whatever, but like, you're not helping. Literally, Pogo Plug, you're not helping. And your parent company or whatever. They might be good and all, but I've yet to see anything worthwhile to even talking about you kind of thing. Give me one thing you're good at, and I will shout to the heavens and talk to people about it and fucking spread your names across the valley kind of thing. It just, I can't, I can't find anything. Your customer service sucks, you're trying to grab money anywhere you possibly can, and your fucking backup system takes three days for a terabyte I got eight in my system currently that I would quote unquote need to back up and you're having it, it it takes three days for a quarter of a terabyte to get through to your systems what the fuck you know I can't I don't like once again I don't know do not know why you're in a major store I don't like you should be in fucking not even on 7-Eleven. 7-Eleven's too good for you. Fucking go be online somewhere else. You're a shit company, and you shouldn't be 
able to sell your product in stores. You shouldn't. I don't know what else to say about this. Anyways, I'm Monkey Target 93. This is my rant. Ugh. Sorry to this to you guys. I felt like people should know about this god awful cloud service. Make sure to like and subscribe, and you might get another vlog sometime in the future. Bye bye. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Well, hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Chrono Trigger. Now, originally, I did this with me and my buddy Sam back. Uh, I think early. I think it's early this year. I think it was like early March or early February.